Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about the architecture of Primavera P6. Not only that, I'm going to talk about the different flavors of Primavera P6 that you might encounter outside of this course in the real world. Ready? Let's go. The P6 database. One of the things that used to be a big differentiator for Primavera P6 in the market was that it had a database at its core. You didn't have files. You didn't do file, open, save to file. Having a database at its core really made Primavera P6 an enterprise tool. It was a single source of data for a company. They could put all of their projects in one place. Not only that, it allowed collaboration. So you'd have multiple people connecting to the database at the same time. You could even have different people working on a large project at the same time. You can have one person running reports, you can have another person statusing. It was a new paradigm. Now, nowadays in our web world, we're used to databases. This is not the first time we've seen an application with a database at its core. But for some of you who are used to other Windows-based project management tools, maybe you are used to files. And Primavera is different because it has this database where all the projects sit. I want to talk about how that database relates to some of the other flavors or versions of Primavera P6 that you might encounter. So let's start first with the tool we're here to learn. We're here to learn Primavera P6 Professional. So Primavera P6 Professional is a Windows-based project management tool. It's been around for a long time. Now it can be installed either as a standalone or in an enterprise environment a connected database where everybody participates. The other flavor you should be aware of is called Primavera P6 ePPM. And ePPM is based on P6 Professional, but it's an enterprise web-based tool. So it runs in a browser. You can connect to the same enterprise database through a web browser. Now, even though ePPM is based on P6 Pro, it has some different features that you won't find in P6 Professional, like portfolios and dashboards, different reporting. It also has a mobile app, which I'll show you and tell you about in just a second. So it's a little bit different. Now that we know about these two different flavors, let me talk about different ways that you might connect to them. So if we start with P6 Professional, we can definitely connect to an enterprise connected database, a multi-user database. But now we also have the ability to install a standalone version. And if you follow the instructions in the second video of this course, we talked about how to install a standalone version that runs just on your PC and it's not multi-user. Now, unfortunately, Primavera P6 ePPM is slightly different. You can't install it locally on your PC. It has to be installed on servers, and it can either be installed on your company's servers, or you can take advantage of some web offerings and use a cloud version of it. For example, Oracle now has something called the Primavera Cloud Service. It's a subscription service where you can sign up and just get access with a login. Now, to confuse things a little bit more, let's focus in on ePPM. Let's say you have a cloud-based install of ePPM. You can definitely connect to it using your browser. But did you know you can also connect to it using Primavera P6 Professional? That's right, ePPM is more of a suite and Primavera P6 Professional is part of that suite. So as a P6 Professional user, you might be connecting to an ePPM database without even knowing it. So find out what kind of install you've got. Lastly, I want to talk about the P6 Pro standalone version. There are one or two little differences of connecting to a standalone database versus connecting to an enterprise database. So number one, when you connect to a standalone, there requires no database engine. The database is actually just a file using a tool called SQLite. That simplifies things majorly and makes it really fast. Number two, it's single user only, so you can't have multiple people working in this standalone environment. A couple multi-user features have been removed. 
These shouldn't concern you too much, but you won't find them if you're familiar with them. Things like the user administration, OBS, permissions, as well as check-in and check-out of projects, they don't exist in the standalone version. There you go. I hope that clarifies a little bit for you the architecture of Primavera P6, and I hope it clarifies for you some of the different versions, different flavors that you might run into. If you're ready, let's dive in now into Primavera P6 Professional and let's get our hands dirty. <music>